Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the base Halevi on Sinas Chinam. And he's explaining the words of Chazal that say that in every generation, shall I niv the base Amigdash, that the base Amigdash was not rebuilt? It's ki'ilu nechra base Amigdash, as if the base Amigdash itself was destroyed. And the base Halevi has been proving throughout that it must be the reason is because we are still seeped in this sinna sinna schinam for our generation. And he writes like this, the Alkane, therefore, Imrayinador, if someone sees a generation, that Akadash Baruchu himself does not grant the building of the Beis Amigdash. So that would mean that for the last two thousand years, since the Beis Amigdash is destroyed, Every single generation has been eye witness and testimony to the fact that Hakadosh Baruch Hu has not brought us a base of Migdash. Who may face the mice of Gormin? It is a sign that the actions of that generation are causing that the base of Migdash is not being rebuilt. Ah, Chim Hayulam base of Migdash, and even more so says the base of Levi. If there would have been a Beis HaMikdash in that generation, or if that generation would have been around at the time where there was a Beis HaMikdash, Haya Noitli Mimenu HaKadosh Baruch would have taken the Beis HaMikdash away from them. They do not deserve to have a Beis HaMikdash, and that's why it's not being rebuilt right now. Remember, like the Beis HaLevi said the other day, everything is revealed in front of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The giving and the taking, it's all one and the same. A Beis HaMikdash and not a Beis HaMikdash, the history of what was, what is, and what will be, it's all in front of Hashem at the same time. So if we're a generation that's living now without a Beis HaMikdash, it must mean that if we would have been in the generation where there is a Beis HaMikdash, says the Beis HaLevi, then HaKadosh Baruch would have destroyed it during that time as well. The Im Api Maisa Ador, because according to the mice in the actions of that generation, it never would have been destroyed in their days. Meaning, if you would be a generation in which you're behaving in such a good way, that you, there is no sinas chinam, you love each other, you take care of each other, so then the Beis HaMikdash never would have been destroyed in those days. Then HaKadosh Baruch Hu will rebuild the Beis HaMikdash now. Meaning, this says the Beis Alevi, I have to think deeply to understand what he's saying, but from the fact that there is no Beis Amigdash right now in front of us, that is a raya, that is a proof, that if we would have been the generation where there should have been a Beis Amigdash, HaKadosh Baruch Hu would have destroyed the Beis Amigdash in our days. For if we really were a generation that deserves, that would have deserved to have a Beis Amigdash back then, then right now we would see that HaKadosh Baruch Hu would rebuild the Beis HaMikdash for us and we would be living in Yerushalayim, HaKadosh, Kahanim, Levim, Karbanai, singing, everything would be going on the way it's supposed to. From the fact that we see that there is no Beis HaMikdash right now, that's Megala that reveals to us that we are a generation that would not have been deserving of the Beis HaMikdash back then either. And that means that back then, 2,000 years ago, if we would have been the generation that was there, HaKadosh Baruch Hu would have destroyed the Beis HaMikdash B'yameinu in our days. And that's what it means. V'zehu Sha'amu, that's what it means over here. Ki'ilu Nechrav B'yamav, it's as if the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed in our days. Why? Because if it wouldn't, be for the fact that there is not a Beis HaMikdash to, if the, I'm sorry, for the fact that there is no Beis HaMikdash today, it is just a revelation of what would have been back then. For if we really deserve to have the Beis HaMikdash be Yomenu in our days, HaKadosh Baruch would have no problem, He would give it to us. But that's only if you're a generation that would have deserved not to have it destroyed in your days. And the fact that we don't have a base of Migdash right now, that means that we would have been a generation that would have been unfortunately worthy, so to speak, of having the base of Migdash destroyed in our days. And that's what it means in Chazal, that any generation in which the base of Migdash is not re- rebuilt, 
is Ke'ilu Necha B'yamav as if it was destroyed in their days. If you would take us and you would put us back in time 2,000 years ago, the base of Middash would have been destroyed because of us. And now 2,000 years later, there is no base of Middash because of us. So whether not rebuilding and or destroying, it's all the same in the eyes of HaKadosh Baruch, and therefore we are the generation that is looked at as being necha of the Beis Amigdash, destroying the Beis Amigdash, because we are seeped in the sins, the unfortunate sins of Sinas Chinam, hating another Jew for no reason and no reason at all. We have a lot, a lot to work on. This is the Zman of the year that we have to examine our relationships and we have to ask ourselves, do we love that person the way that we love ourselves? Or are we harboring hatred and anger and animosity towards that person, what they're doing? Do I care about them? Do I love them? Do I want what's best for them? Do I, I'm happy when they succeed? Or when they succeed and they have success and the things are going well, I'm disgruntled, I'm upset, I'm disappointed, I'm frustrated, I'm angry, I'm jealous. Chas that's a sign of sinas chinam. Does my blood boil when I see them? When I have a sub upon him, I have a smiling countenance when I see them. This is the time of the year to work on it, to be introspective, to examine our relationships, to think about those people that you don't love with all your heart, and find a way to repair the damage that is there. Have a wonderful day.